Hey, what's up, Headbangers? I am your Metal Maiden here at the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum in West and West Virginia for the third annual Moonstruck Music Festival Battle of the Bands. And with me all the way from Baltimore, Maryland, is Rebel Inc. How's it going, guys? Doing good. What's going on? How you guys doing? Hey, guys. Now, if you guys will go around, introduce yourselves, and say what you do in the band. Uh, my name's Adam. I'm the front man. My name's Brian, and I'm the drummer. My name's Ben, and I play bass. And the guitar player had an emergency he had to run home for, so uh, it's the three of us right now. We still got one more guy, Kevin, who plays guitar. And how long have you guys been together? Uh, band started in uh, August of 2007 as far as the full-fledged four-piece. Um, and this, this group has been together for, we pretty much celebrated a one-year anniversary with Ben and the band, so this weekend. Well, congratulations. Anything to say about that? Uh, it's been an interesting year with this group. Um, when I first joined, we were, I, I, I joined the group and they were like, we're going to Detroit. <laughs> okay, so it was just jumping into a touring band, which was really, really cool. Nice. And uh, how long did it take you guys to get here? Uh, it took well. It took us like uh, eight hours, but it's only a, a four, four and a half hour drive. We got we got stuck in uh, traffic on 68 with a hazmat spill or something. So we didn't move anywhere for two and a half hours. That's happened twice now on uh, the last couple tours. One down to North Carolina after we opened up for Seether in Baltimore. We had to drive to North Carolina, and we got stopped for two hours on the DC Beltway. So uh, touring sometimes, man, is doesn't go as planned. <laughs> if ever. <laughs> yep, if ever. So I assume since it took you that long to get here, if you guys win this contest, you'll probably use it for gas money, right? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, since we drive a van and a trailer, I mean, uh, gas is like the biggest expense that we have. But as far as this festival and everything goes, West Virginia has by far been the best state for Rebel Angel. People out here are awesome. It's just a community feel, which is what our band is all about. We're about community. We're about people getting together and having a lot of fun. So West Virginia is just awesome for that. Now, what I've heard a lot about the comments from the fans and stuff that were here yesterday, you guys sound a good bit like a Rage Against the Machine. Is that intentional or was it just kind of happened when you got together and that's just kind of what came out? Uh, I think, I don't think it's intentional. I think they're a huge influence to us and uh, the guys in this band are very genuine and the way that we see the world and how backwards it is um, from what it should be or what it's supposed to be anyways. And uh, so this, this sound kind of stemmed from just being fed up and being sick of everything. And the sound was what came out, you know. Um, we actually have a lot of songs that we play uh, that we have that are nowhere near the sound of Rage Against the Machine. Um, but when we play these festivals and we play our shows for people, we want to really give them all the energy we got. And some of those heavy hitting, uh, gut wrenching songs, you know, have that influence of a Rage Against the Machine, that anger, uh, porn, all that kind of stuff. So um, you're getting pretty much straight passion, straight from the heart and soul when you get a song uh, that we play. Live or, uh, on the radio. Yep. And uh, do you guys have a CD out? Uh, yes, we do. We have a six song EP that we released. Uh, all six songs have been played on the radio all across the country uh, Canada, Australia. Um, we've got a couple songs that have been used in some horror flicks and stuff like that, uh, which is cool. Um, and we released a song uh, called Killing the Future on a compilation album with Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine. Uh, against Anti-Flag and some other uh, some other big bands, so it's an honor to be involved with those bands uh, on the compilation album. It's called a soundtrack for refusal uh, to benefit the Civilian Soldier Alliance. You can get those uh, if you want to get the CDs at our website directly from us. It's not going through Middleman. If you go to uh, rebelinkmusic.com, you get everything right from us. We package them up. This guy I package, package them up and send them out. Them out. <laughs> And uh, if, if you email us from there, it's going directly to us. There's yep. no middleman. You're talking directly to the band. And I know you guys are going to be in my hometown, Morgantown, West Virginia, on Thursday at 123 Pleasant Street. What else you guys have going on? Well, uh, we're excited to go back to 123 Pleasant Street Thursday. Uh, the very next day, we have a, a big hometown blowout in Baltimore. Uh, we're headlining the Bourbon Street Ballroom uh, Friday, June 10th, and it's going to be it's going to be an intense Baltimore uh, Rebel gathering. Uh, there's people coming from all over West Virginia, North Carolina, Ohio, uh, New Jersey, New York. Band from um, Georgia. Yeah, a band. band from Georgia, a photographer from Georgia that's just coming up to take pictures and hang out. Like, uh, it's going to be a, a big gathering of Rebels from all over the place coming together in uh, hometown Baltimore. So. And then Saturday we're uh, 
Moorfield, Moorfield, West Virginia at the Top Hat Super Club. So we love West Virginia. <laughs> West Virginia is awesome. We will play anywhere in West Virginia. Oh, we love People you guys. But, uh, we're, we're also playing a, a big festival in New Hampshire at the end of June, uh, Pork Fest, which is a big Liberty Festival up in New Hampshire. Uh, we're gonna be a bunch of people up there, free-minded people, liberty-minded people. So uh, it's gonna be uh, gonna be our type of people to be hanging out with for a weekend. Pork fest. Yep. We like the way that sounds. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything to say to your friends, fans, family, supporters? People uh, that helped you out? We we can't thank the people that support us enough. Um, the people like yourselves that get out there and support the scene any way that you can. Uh, it takes a good foundation to help everything build up from it. Um, and we want to say thanks to all the friends and family that stick by our sides through everything we go through so thank you guys very much okay if everybody will look into the camera and give me your meanest most metal faces <gasps> wow <laughs>
to be honest, we weren't thinking a whole much about the battle to be out here. Um, West Virginia's been real good to us. We wanted to get out, meet more people, uh, meet more of the bands out in West Virginia because we know that there's a good metal scene, a uh, good heavy aggressive music scene in West Virginia. Uh, so we wanted to get out here and grow the family. And uh, you know, if you, if you win, uh, it's a bonus. Uh, but at the very at the very least, you build a lot of bridges, uh, make some new friends, and it's honorable to be put up there with uh, Torment Garden uh, to tie this thing and uh, be victorious with those guys. So we're uh, we're very happy and pleased and honored. So. And we look forward to both videos. Each of them are going to get to make a video here at the Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. So we look forward to that. Do you guys have any ideas yet? <laughs> I haven't even really soaked anything up yet, you know. So uh, I'm kind of still on another, another, another planet. I'm, I'm in the Moonstruck Festival planet right now. So I haven't, I haven't returned yet to, uh, to reality. <laughs> what about you all? You take this oh, Dark Wall for sure. Dark Wall was written about this island, so that's what's going to be done here. All right. Well, congratulations to you guys. Anything else you'd like to say? Uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming out, uh, all the bands, all the people, all the vendors, uh, you guys, West Virginia Metal, and uh, everybody for sticking around all week and having a good time. I'll tell you what, it was good all, all week and was great. No fights, everybody was happy, music was awesome, and you know, just everybody needs to get their own, you know, it's just great. Greatest time I've ever had in like one festival. Awesome. All right, everybody at once. Most metal face. <laughs>